decades, and their fans are pumped. Can they make it? Two in a row and stay on top of Group A. For Zimbabwe, they lost their opening game to the host Egypt last Friday, and while that was disappointing, they tried to take as many pause. Looking for more from his team. Coverage of the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations continuing here on BN Sports. It took over four decades, but in Zimbabwe that get their second fixtures in and for Uganda. This game is a chance to and they'll look for more from Musona versus Uganda on this day, as well as Farouk Mi. As they look for their second straight victory at Adams. And if they play the same way they did against Egypt, you have to think. Last minute motivation for both teams as we get set for the opening kickoff from Cairo. Here we go then. It's time for us again to take on Egypt in their final match, of course, then that's uh, would have been offside. Farrakh Meyer, one of the star players in this uh, Ugandan squad. Some good work here on the cross coming over. And it's been fifth division in uh, England. That's a good through ball, but it's just been cut out there at the back. Wales, of course, and Musona. Centre forward in, in Belgium for Anderlecht. And his delivery is like tonight. Mia with the delivery into the penalty box, but it doesn't get past the first man. He just saw platforms that have been set up for you. The hashtag Total Afghan 2019. You've got everything on there. Uh, I just coming to assist on a training. Oh, there's a long range effort there coming in, which a uh, little bit uh, high. The billiards of the field as well, but that pass was just not good enough and it's been uh, taken back by Okwi. Oh, not the gesture coming in from the sub. An opportunity for a shot, maybe. Qualify, so uh, they, they, the defenders are the back. You can see Kadu. Goes for KC. And that's going to be uh, problematic as uh, we can see Uganda on the attack. The shot's coming in. Oh, it's at the back of the net. They've scored it. Okwi. Okwi of Sibir SC has put Uganda ahead. And that was just a moment of pure brilliance. They stole the ball, moved down the right flank. The delivery, the shot, just pushed away by the goalkeeper, Chikova. And who was there to... The Africa Cup of Nations. By Lamala. And that delivery, overcooked. Out of play, back to the... Picked up by Lumala. Lumala with a little bit of support tries to get his crossover, but uh, ball out wide. Very well done indeed. Pushing forward now, and the chance for uh, oh, let's uh, get their playmaker involved and have their forwards move up uh, and run different lines up front. Celebrations as if they'd already lifted the trophy, having beaten uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. Flory Big. Pack their bags, or get ready, or try and finish on a high, of course, with one of the most experienced goalkeepers uh, here in Egypt. That's going to be a foul, surely. Miliad goes down. Mukibi, who's uh, Dalves here in Egypt. Don't really blame them. Just two uh, semi-finals. It's a good ball, a very good ball into the penalty area. There's Biliad, Biliad. There's Danny Fury. We expect a little bit more from him. He's, uh, and there he is. There's Biliad, Biliad. Can he get the ball through? Why is he being so, so unselfish? You don't make decisions like that, not with the, the goalkeeper so close. Who are, and a couple of big men who come up as well with Hassan into the penalty area, but it's Barboy down the left hand side. There's the delivery. It's a good opportunity. To, oh, no! How on earth did he not hit the target there? And I don't understand. That was there for the taking. Masona, the captain. He, it's this man here, Chawa Piwa, who gets his uh, high ball over into the. But uh, look at this danger, danger, danger. There's a chance for a shot coming in. Oh, he should have got that on target. Billiat again. 
Kai is the Chiefs man. He sees the corner coming into the penalty box. A good opportunity for Edda. Oh, it's been uh, met there in the middle there. and they need The cafes and bars or whatever where this match is being played. A lot of uh, poorly controlled there. Roy Chawa, P1, there's a good delivery. There's a chance. Oh, it's just uh, quite hesitant in the way that they didn't. All back to his teammate Darik Wamali, Senegal, and Cameroon. Towards uh, Kadu, and uh, the goal it gets knocked off his feet. Play on, says the referee. No foul, no penalty, nothing like that. Lungo has come up on the left hand side. The delivery is very good. And it's met there, just to, and uh, picked up by Kadu. And slips the ball into the path of Mia. There's a long range effort. It's a pile driver, but it's a pile driver that just doesn't come down. Here's the delivery into the penalty area. They've gone a little bit long. It's like fired into the penalty area. It's a good opportunity. Oh, that was close. Very, very close indeed. Um, I rate. He is, of course, which makes sense. I would be if I was the problem. There's uh, interesting uh, communication app slowly but surely. 75,000. Is that a handball? I'm not too sure, but in any case, that's uh, offside. Offside. The idea was good. Decent little save. It's a decent ball. It's a lovely chest. This is a good opportunity. They've split open this Ugandan defence. Can they get the ball across? Oh, it's in the back of the net. Billiard! Billiard has scored the goal. The equaliser. The Kaiser Chiefs man hits back for the Warriors. And they score a goal just before half time. Perfect time to score. A lovely little flick. But how about who will be firing this free kick into the penalty box? There it is. Is it going? Oh, it just sends the ball out, but they win it back again. Tidied up by a change of uh, flanks. It's to uh, Billy Ad. Billy Ad into the penalty box. First time cross. Nicely done indeed. Dibu. And the flick takes a little. The guys who are based in uh, Tanzania, of course. Time mark. They call time on the first half between Uganda and Zimbabwe. What a first half we have. Chipped. Here we go then for the second half, and uh, hopefully we'll get a really entertaining second half. As and they do put a lot of emphasis on that. That was. When they can he get a decent uh, crossing? Goes down towards the byline, gets his crossover, but it's. Uh, Met there by Kat. Opportunity, great header there by Mudimu. Goes back, and there's the uh, delivery again. Just there, Zimbabwe with Biliat under pressure from Hassan. Leaves it for Biliat. Karuru gets the ball back, tries to slip the ball into it. Path his teammate. Oh, it's off the crossbar. It's come off the crossbar, but Sona doesn't hit it. Oh, there's a follow up there as well by a Chawa Piwa, but uh, that should have been buried. Musona, empty net. Onside, Whoa. deal with it. There's the uh, Lunga with a player down as well in the midfield. Seeing who that is, that's what comes. Nice flick to uh, Billy Atman, uh, Hassan's there. Cairo International Stadium. Stadium. And it's a good run, this is by Lunga for uh, Uganda. And the foot up there by fear uh, by the swishing head the uh, flailing arms the thumbs up uh, it's all quite intricate and, uh, and uh, now we can see Uganda on the attack in Uganda with a check what kind of work we have off the ball good ambition from the Chesterfield uh, player between 2010 and 2015 played 125 match That's a nice touch. If they, uh, but the cranes will be quite happy with this, uh, I suppose, because. Friendly match at the Kaluzu Stadium. He's only got a few caps, uh, 11. Two players smashing into each other, and they're, uh, it's K. on the 
pitch uh, in a few moments time. Just uh, tidying up a uh, parried ball. The shot that's neatly done and he keeps the ball in as well. Getting the ball in the back of the it's a goal. Oh, he's kept it out. Onyango kept it out. How did he do it? I really don't know. Tidies it up, which is neatly done. And that's going to go off for Gabon. Just uh, getting order in the penalty box. Is the delivery into the penalty box?